Hello everyone, welcome to Andev Visits. In today's video, we'll be discussing eight things you didn't know about Titanic. Titanic can still tug our heartstrings and continues to launch angry debates about whether or not two people could have fit on that door. In honor of the epic romance, here are eight facts that you may not have known about the war trip epic of 1997. Director James Cameron wanted his film to be as true to life as possible. So he made sure to include as many details and characters from the real Titanic as he could. Cameron also included details like the time on the clock on the grand staircase at the end of the movie, which is 2:20, the same time as the ship sank. Jack's description of how freezing water feels like a thousand knives, which was a quote from a Titanic survivor. and the man who tells his daughter that they are only being separated for a little while when he loads her into a lifeboat another quote from the girl who survived the elderly couple were real historical figures most will remember a particularly heartrending scene where an older couple is evening dressed lie down together on their bed while the water floods the room around them what many don't realize is that this scene was inspired by real people the couple were Isidore and Ida Stratus, a German-American couple who were well known because Insider was the co-owner of Mackey's. The two did actually lose their lives on the Titanic. Kate got pneumonia on set. While many of the sinking scenes and all of the post-sinking scenes were actually shot in a relatively warm pool, most of the cast still wore wet suits to stay comfortable. Kate meanwhile didn't want to wear a wet suit even though some of her scenes were shot in frigid water from the Pacific Ocean. When Rose goes to find Jack as the ship starts to sink, she gasps audibly when she gets into the water. Her natural reaction to the freezing temperature. The water was so cold that Kate actually got pneumonia while filming her water scene and very nearly quit the production. It wasn't Leo doing the sketching. Most people probably didn't think that Leonardo DiCaprio was actually the one sketching Kate in the famous nude scene, but it may come as a surprise to learn that it was someone involved in the production already. It turns out that director James Cameron is quite a talented artist, and he was the one who made the sketch. In the film itself, it is actually his hands that we see putting charcoal to paper. Cameron also drew all of the sketches in Jack's portfolio along with the father and child that Jack sketches early on the film. Audiences can see his work when Rose flips through Jack's portfolio on deck, each sheet of which is an original Cameron. Leo was so nervous about that scene he flubbed his line. By now everybody knows the story of how Kate decided to break the ice before her big nude scene by flashing Leo the first time they met, but apparently that wasn't quite enough. Leo was still so nervous about seeing Kate's trip on the set that he had some difficulties with his lines. Jack was supposed to tell Rose to go lie on the couch to have her portrait drawn. But when the time came, Leo stumbled over it. He ended up saying over the bed, the couch. And director James Cameron found his Freudian slip so endearing that he kept it in the final cut. It broke Oscar records. Unsurprisingly, Titanic cleaned house at the Oscars nominated for 14 Academy Awards. Of those 14, it won 11, make it in the second film in history to do so. It is still tied for the most Academy Awards won by a single picture alongside Ben-Hur and The Lord of the Rings: The Return of the King. It was also the first film since The Sound of Music in 1965 to win Best Picture without a nomination for the screenplay and the first winner of Best Picture to be converted from 2D to 3D after the original release. The cast and crew were drugged at the end of filming. During the wrap party after film finishing, someone snuck PCP into the chowder and leading to a number of the cast and crew heading to hospital. PCP that is full dissociative drug that cause users to act and feel intoxicated, lose their restraint and experience vivid hallucinations. The drug is illegal and extremely harmful and the spiked soup landed more than 50 members of the cast and crew in hospital. There was a real J Dawson Originally James Cameron intended for the two main characters to be entirely fictional. Common enough with historical epics and historical fiction, Rose Buchanan is a creation of Cameron's imagination. But Jack Dawson turned out to be a little less fictional than originally intended. All of Jack's story and character were created specifically for the film, but once film was finished, 
it was discovered that he may not have been as fictional as expected there was j dawson on board the titanic who was later revealed to be a young irish man who worked in the engine room he died when the ship sank and is buried in halifax with a gravestone for multiple victims of the disaster